Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mr. Msinguzi. Now today is the 18th of May 2019 and we are celebrating International Museum Day. So International Museum Day is an internationally celebrated day to acknowledge the role of museums in the community, especially as key actors in preservation of cultural heritage. So we are here at the Uganda Museum and we are going to be having an exhibition of Idi Amin's Unseen Archives. So, before we go and see what is inside there, make sure you subscribe to this channel right here if you've not subscribed and hit that bell button to make sure you see every video that I upload. So I linked up with Morris, a dancer from a cultural performance group called House of Talent and he showed me some of the instruments they use to perform and these included a ngomenganda, a madinda, Ingalavi, Insasi, Adungu. According to Morris, Ngomenganda originated in Buganda and these used to be played to entertain the Kabaka. The Adungu is said to have originated from West Nile and it is adopted here because of its musical abilities. Amadinda is said to have originated from Busoga and I actually tried and played some of these instruments. Next, I moved on to see these beautiful art pieces. I got to know that these pieces were being painted by Ugandans and they were being exhibited by Nomo Gallery. Now, Nomo Gallery is one of Uganda's oldest galleries and it is located in Nakasero and you're free to go there and see some of the work that is being done by Ugandan artists, free of charge. So there are quite a number of tents here. You can see this one belongs to the Parliament of Uganda. And it's the Parliament Museum. Interestingly, the Uganda Parliament Library has archives of information about ministers, members of parliament, from way back since we got our independence. When I asked how someone can access this information, I was informed that as long as you have a national ID and you identify yourself at the Uganda Parliament, you're able to get free access and be able to view some of this information at the Uganda Parliament. We then moved on to the next tent, which was very exciting, and this was the Uganda Broadcasting Corporation tent, commonly known as UBC. Yeah, okay, that one, the same thing to apply to the current <laughs> projectors. They have a similar so concept. That is where... Now we saw quite a number of equipment from way back when the first broadcasts were made in Uganda and I was very surprised that UBC had very good equipment that were used to broadcast and according to the personnel that I spoke to, he said these were some of the best equipment that were available on the market then. We went through the entire process of how phone calls were made and how the switchboards were working then to see that a call moves from one place to another. And thankfully, technology has grown and we don't need to have all that equipment because all you need is a mobile phone. And when you look at the equipment used in the broadcasting companies, it's way advanced. Uh -huh. <laughs> Our grand, our grand is 
preserve me and I do know this is this is mostly in the in the Langon culture and the Talamo jobs. This is how they use my this is what they prepare to preserve me. This is the core. When I saw where the money was, I had to rush to the Bank of Uganda tent and get some education about money. Well, we got to see the first currencies, how they came about from butter trade to the curry shells to the coins, all the way until the money that we handle today and we're educated on what features you can look out for when you're identifying original money from counterfeit money. These are dummies, this is not real money, but when you go to your real money, you'll be able to see some of the features, especially if you have light applied through the note that you'll be holding. Museum, like I told you, you can see where we came from. Okay, this is according to science. Biblically, you know, God created us. Eh? But according to science, this is what they say are the closest creatures to human beings. Eh? So if you can see, they are sitting like human beings. They smile. Eh? You see the smile here? Yeah, that is a smile. Eh? Just like one of a human being. And uh, a lot of history going on here. You can see the, some of the features that are similar to those of human beings. Yeah, right about here. We're going to enter inside the main museum, but before we enter, I have to show you this so that you can know if you come here, look for this board. So we we through with the external tour, so we're going to enter inside here, uh, inside the museum, so that you can see yeah, what we have here. Wow, this space is so beautiful. Unseen archives of Idi Amin. Idi Amin was one of the presidents of Uganda, and I know so many people that don't know about, about Uganda, but they know about President Idi Amin. Well, that guy did so much for the country, and that is why today, on the International Museum Day, we're going to have his archives as one of the main exhibitions. So I'm going to be showing you that so many people around here. You can see uh, UBC is Uganda's main broadcasting uh, media house. And every, all these people you see here are guests who have come to make sure that this day is a very memorable day, both locally here in Uganda and internationally. Of General Idi and we try to show that whereas Nathan Obote was the president, he looked more of a
So guess what, I am back from the museum and I am here in the city center in Kampala. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bless you.